Welcome, I'm Joan London. Many domestic issues come and go, but getting access to good health care continues to be a major challenge for a growing segment of the population. Today, more options are becoming available for more people. Imagine having to wait weeks just to see a doctor for even the most routine health care. Millions of people experience this every day in the United States. The nation's inner cities and rural areas are the hardest hit. A shortage of medical professionals in this country is resulting in a large number of Americans in poor health, and the problem is only growing. We have a problem in America where um, increasingly uh, physicians are not replenishing the ranks of rural practitioners once they retire. The, the real challenge has to be in how we perceive these shortages and how we will be able to address them if our perceptions are offbeat or are not directly addressing the issues. Because physicians focus on promoting good health through the prevention and early identification of medical problems, a shortage of medical professionals will have a significant impact on the nation. But the number of medical school graduates entering the family medicine workforce is decreasing each year. I think family medicine should be the cornerstone of our healthcare system, but the market forces or the economics may drive some students uh, towards specialization because of better reimbursement. Uh, furthermore, it may also be a sense of prestige that some people think that the specialty has a better appeal rather than this more broad-based family medicine. We need to change that approach. We need to change the way students think about it because uh, it can be very rewarding to go into family medicine and primary care. Today, osteopathic medicine is a vital part of a promising future for the nation's needs. While doctors of osteopathic medicine make up only 7% of the physicians in the U.S., they see more than 18% of the country's patients, making the training and education of more DOs necessary to address the physician shortage across the country. DOs are fully trained physicians and surgeons. They receive the same basic science foundation as does all physicians. They are also trained in a distinctive type of diagnosis and treatment, palpatory diagnosis and manipulative treatment, which is employed in various conditions throughout the body. Every osteopathic physician is trained to use their hands. They use their hands to diagnose. They use their hands to, to treat musculoskeletal conditions. And they use their hands to communicate caring to the patient. Preparing for a medical career requires a willingness to undertake one of the most challenging courses of study possible. New York College of Osteopathic Medicine of New York Institute of Technology offers a comprehensive academic program dedicated to training the next generation of caring and capable osteopathic physicians. We need to go back to the basics. And the basics to me is doing a very good history and a good physical examination. And if you include in that physical examination the ability to touch, the ability to really feel the tissues, and, and if you're able to do it in the right way so that it's really truly integrated in the medical thinking, then I think we have a chance to further the entire medical care that we can provide that otherwise would be perhaps uh, somewhat limited uh, if you don't use that kind of approach. We're glad you could join us for a closer look inside the important world of healthcare. I'm Joan London. I hope you'll join us next time.